Okay, we're in step 53 in the construction of the Nike Hercules, and we're going to start building this shroud back here on the base of the rocket. We're going to start by cutting out some patterns. So from this sheet right here, we want four of the S2s and all of these right here. Get out your knife, get out your ruler, and enjoy cutting out all these paper templates. Okay, I've cut out uh, all the patterns from the sheet. We'll just put that aside. Next, we want to go to 54, and we're gonna take the heavy card stock, and that's this one here, part number 40097. And we want these four stiffeners from these. And so we'll cut these out. And now, on 55, we're gonna use a thin layer of glue and we're going to glue this piece onto one of these pieces. You'll notice on the this piece here, I did cut out the little circle. That's for the weld nut. So we can put a rail guide on this. So, but any of these, um, we're gonna take these and glue them together. You want the ink on opposite sides. So this is gonna be glued up here as a doubler like that. And we're gonna use thin wood glue and have some paper towels handy because you're gonna need them. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line connecting these points here. So I want glue on that side. And you only want a thin layer of glue. I got way too much. I know what's gonna happen. We need to spread this glue. Here's a little trick. Uh, before you start spreading it, wet your finger. Uh, because what happens is when you start spreading glue, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner, and the thinner it is, the faster it dries. And so it could dry too fast before everything is nice and evened out. So I wet my finger, and I'm just using uh, some soap and water solution here. And just line up all those edges. Also, you know, keep your fingers, keep the glue off of them. So again, that's why I'm using the soap and water here. You know, if you keep your fingers clean, then the outside of the part looks really clean, and that's gonna help you later on. Now this is gonna wanna curve a little bit as it dries. So just kind of check it every now and then to make sure it's nice and flat. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the three others that uh, we have here. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. Okay, we're in step 56. Previously, we had glued that doubler on there. Now, on the back side, we're going to glue these stiffener plates to this. Now, obviously, this one with the hole go matches with that, and then the other ones, any one of them could go on any. So again, I'm going to do as before, spread some glue on there, spread it around, just damp, so that we can make it nice and even, and then line it. and just watch that to make sure that it doesn't uh, start curling up on you. And then go ahead and do the other three, same way. Okay, so that's all glued up. Now we have to wait for this glue to dry because in the next step, we're going to glue it onto our tubes here. They're gonna be glued here, but we have to wait till these are dry. Um, also make sure that they're not curling up on you. So just keep flattening them out until that glue is totally dry. Okay, we're in step 57, and now that um, our shrouds are dry, we want to flatten them and then also inspect the edges. So what we're looking for is like any whiskers of paper that are sticking over the edge. So you might want to use like a round file to get into the little corners. You can also use sandpaper to do the flat edges. Just make sure that they're, everything's clean before we glue them onto the rocket. That one looks pretty good. You need a little round file. We do sell these here at Apogee Components. They, I find them to be very valuable. Step 58, we gotta take this weld nut here and we need to glue that into this one here. So you wanna glue that through there so that it comes out like that. We're gonna use um, some medium thick super glue to glue these onto the base of the rocket like this. If you haven't painted your tubes, use wood glue, but if you've already painted everything, 
um, use the super glue. It will stick a little bit better. Paint uh, where it sticks is not as strong at all. It's like gluing it to a piece of chalk. Um, eventually it will flake off. Previously we had masked off these areas, so this is raw paper. So these are going to stick pretty good. We're going to align them. You got to watch your edges right here where the slots of the tubes are. So we want those even. They're going to curl around the tube and we're actually going to glue it around the edge of the tube like that. So you do have to watch that you're not going to cover up any of your slots in your tubes. So I'm going to put a perimeter of glue just along these edges and then along the edges of the stiffening cardboard right here. Um, I don't really need it here along the bottom because it's not going to really stick there. Before I do that, let me pause here. I want to get a piece of plastic. Okay, I got my sheet of plastic. Again, I want to take my shroud here and put a layer of glue on this edge and then pull along the outside edge. So I want to align it to the bottom, watch my edges, and put it down into place. And then I'm going to take the plastic. And the reason for this is to keep my fingers away from any glue that might ooze out. Okay, because I can, I can see some glue oozing out underneath. And I don't want to touch that glue, so I'm going to wipe it off. It's too much glue. And then you want to wrap it around the tube. So I'm going down around on both sides and then along here. And I did get some glue on here so that was like too much glue so use it sparingly. Okay so you're asking where does this one go on the body tube? It doesn't matter. They're, it's all going to be the same. This is the bottom rail button and the upper rail button is here and we can take this part and we can rotate it in any direction so Right now, it doesn't matter where this one goes. All right, so do the same thing with this one. Try to use my glue a little bit less. I'm using like the really thick along this edge. I think I'll, I'll go to the thinner stuff because it doesn't, uh, that way I don't use as much. Okay, so this one. And I'm going to check my edges, get my plastic. Okay, so I'm going to do the other two and then we'll be on to step 61. We're on step 61. Uh, we're going to take uh, this launch guide template from the cardstock sheet right here. I'm going to pop that out. And this is used twice, so don't throw it away after this step. And pop that hole out. All right, so now so this is where we want to put it. And then from the sprue, we want these two pieces right here. Uh, these on the real rocket, these are the rail guides. And so we're going to cut those off. Um, and then we want to sand the base. And if you look really close, uh, one side is thicker than the other side, so this side will be the bottom. And there's actually a, like a little uh, bolt head on the on the other side. So sand away from the other side of that bolt head. Just kind of take off what's left of the sprue. And so then these will go one right here and then one right here with the notch going inside. I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Here's one, and here is number two. So those are now glued into place. And now in step 62, we're going to take the um, latch, and there's a latch template on one of the, the paper sheets, and I've already cut it out. And I'm going to put it on the one clockwise from the rail guys that we just put on. So we're going to center this right there. This right here, this area, is where we're going to glue those latches. Now the latches, again, they're on the sprue, and they're these things right here, and they're slightly curved, and, the, and that's to go around the curvature of the uh, body tubes. So I'm going to cut those off, and just clean up the edges of that sprue. 
You'll notice on the other side it's flat, so we're going to make that one flat as well. And these are little latches. These are decorative, but on the real rocket they held that shroud under the tubes. And these are really small. You got to be really careful. Find the curvature and I'm going to put it into place. And you want to make them all like even one way or the other. And I'm just going to use some thin super glue and I'm just going to touch it and let it wick under. Once you get the latches on one side, um, you do need to put three more latches on the opposite side. So again, we're going to take our alignment shroud, center it, and I'm just drawing some pencil marks where I'm going to put my latches. And again, we'll cut these out from the sprue. There's three of them. When you cut them out, put your finger on them so that when you cut through, they don't go shooting across the room. Been there, done that. And then I'm just going to go right there, touch a little bit of CA glue under it. And that finishes off step 62. So if you get a little bit of excess glue, like where my finger just stuck, use a, a, a razor blade and scrape it. That's the best way to get it off. Okay, so that is up to step 62. On 63, we're going to apply a thin layer of 15-minute epoxy to this surface right here. And that's to protect this surface from getting blasted by the rocket motor of the upper stage. When this thing takes off, ideally we want it to drag separate, but the tolerances of this are so good that it's, it's actually pretty tight. Um, so if you look down inside, it's going to get really sooty. And we want to protect the inside, and particularly the base, um, from the heat of the rocket motor from the upper stage. I don't have a mixing cup here, but that's what I'm going to do. Be careful not to get any that go over the edges. So you want to, you know, do this middle area. And epoxy is really good as an ablative material. Um, basically, epoxy is what they use on the bottom of space you know, on the, the dragging capsule. It's an ablative material, so it, it will flake off and take a lot of heat away without and protect this plastic. So uh, go ahead and get yourself some 15-minute epoxy and spread it around this uh, upper surface here. But again, don't get any on the edges because we have to put the top part, of, you know, that inner stage on there. And it's a nice fit right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and my epoxy will be dry, and then um, I will be back for step 64.